G'day, how you doing? One of my subscribers asked me, Clay, can you show us the process of how you make dog chews out of your animal skins that are hanging on the tree? Those skins right behind me there. Bit of venison, bit of wild pork. The wasps are already starting to tear into my venison. It's been there for five days, so it's time to put it on the fire and burn those bastards. Now, the reason we put it on the fire is to get all the hair off, because the hair can get caught up in the dog's stomach and to combine them up, old Bruno has been known to grab the odd skin off a tree without me knowing and he has paid the price, haven't you boy? That's right mate, no, you're chilling out there in the sun. A few people ask me about this knob on the top of Bruno's head, that is a scar from when he was hunting about five or six years ago, we got a tusk in there and it has never quite healed and the other thing people ask me about is this lump on the side he's got. That is because he always lies on that side and it just seems to be something that's got there by itself, it's only cosmetic, doesn't hurt him. He's an old boy, getting old aren't you boy eh? Get an old, that's right, you're a good old dog. Anyway, we're going to crank up the fire and do these skins. This toy toy is the best product you can use for tinder. You can see one there that's so it's going to burn up, but when it comes out like as a horse's tail, all white, it's really good for if you're sparking a flint onto something and get a fire going. Not a good idea mate, you don't want to go on the fire. You don't want to go on there. You're gonna bloody burn yourself, sheep. What's the smell of cooked medicine? Oh that's right. Pee in my bloody driveway as per usual. Go on piss, away you go. I'm trying to put the bloody fire out or something, eh? Look at the sins there mate. I'm getting bloody hot. Cheek's not too bright. Come on, pisser, away you go. Bloody catch fire there, mate. You're gonna catch fire for you. You're not having it, mate. It's for the dog, okay? You're a sheep, not a dog. Leave it. You're not having it. Dogs are crying in the kennel because they can smell what's coming. just found a bit that fell off the axe already. He's gonna go and crunch on that. That's what you can do with your pig skins or your deer skins. Rather than just throw them away, put them over fire, knock most of the hair off or as much as you can, and a nice smoky chews for your dogs. 
She smells so good I could almost chew some myself. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Subscribe to the channel if you like this sort of thing because it'll help me out. And uh, be good. If you can't be good. Be careful. See you later. Right, we'll go and feed the pups. Mmm. Is it good, eh? Good beat. Good beat. That's the right place. Here you go, mate. Here you go. There's a cold beam in Juma. Rolls and rotten guts. Still we called all the man's best friend. Well, she's no pedigree. She likes to drink where people poo and wait. Still we called all the man's best friend. He dropped the tail on mother's roses To father's garden hoses mm. Still we call the old man's best friend He came from the poor side of town He came from the bloody town From the bloody town Sheep shit, he likes to munch, then he'll spew it up and eat it for lunch. He's still we call dog the man's best friend. He'll look his bum and clean himself, then come and kiss you on the mouth. He's still we call dog the man's best friend. When he wants to come inside and you let him in, you can guarantee that he'll want to go outside again. If you invite your boss for tea, sure he'll try and hunt for me. Still we call dog the man's best friend. When you dress for town in your tidy drawers, he'll jump up with these muddy paws. Still we call dog the man's best friend. Looks as guilty as sin when she takes a poo, but you do her right in public in front of you. Still we call dog the man's best friend. But if you locked him in the boot of your car with your wife and went off and got drunk, who's gonna be the happiest to see you? Later on you get back and open the trunk. And you'll stay loyal if you're rich or poor. Ugly as sin and you fart and snore and that's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog the man's best friend. That's why we call dog the man's best friend.